Today we're going to find out if the sugar mill is actually worth it in FS22. Let's get after it. All right, we're up to the sugar mill, our next factory to take a look at. Now, I have loaded all this with 8,000 liters of sugar beets, sugar beets that are cut, and sugar cane. So it's got everything it needs. We come up here, we jump onto this. So we have all this as storing at the moment. I'm going to put it to selling. We're going to see if sugar is actually worth selling. Now, I'm going to do these one at a time, but they all have exactly the same thing. They all produce the same. They all have the same cycles per month and they do exactly the same. But let's look at pricing and see what, what we're looking at there. So for sugar beet, uh, sugar beet sugar, it's 12,000 cycles per month. So it's pretty quick. It rotates pretty quick and you'll get a lot. Two, two to one ratio, nothing crazy. Uh, sugar beet cut is less than that. So it's like phew, a lot less, 4,800, but it does go from five to three. So two to one, five to three, we'll see how that turns out and how much we actually get. It's going to be a lot slower though. You're going to have to sit and wait for that stuff to go. Sugar bee itself is going to come pretty quickly. They're going to go through it in no time. Now sugar cane is two to one. So it's about the, it's the same thing as sugar beet. So we'll see. I'm interested on which one's actually going to work the best. So I got all these as selling right now. So at one at a time, I'm going to turn one on and then go ahead and activate it, get it sold, see what our profit is. Then I'm going to do the same thing to sugar beets cut and then the same thing to sugar cane. Now, just like the other videos that I've been doing on these factories over on the train, I have sugar beet and I have sugar cane. You cannot sell sugar beet cut on the train. So what I did, sugar beet, you can sell on the train right now, a little under $200, nothing crazy. For sugar cane, it's at 259, not bad, but you know, a little bit better than the other sale prices for the train. Now for sugar beet cut, it only can be sold either at the sugar mill, at the livestock market, or at the biogas. Now the biogas has been better than others. So right now I have a trailer of 8,000 liters at the biogas and I'm going to be selling it there. And I think that's a flat price. It might be going up and down. We'll see. Once I get over there, I will sell it to whatever the best price is at the time. And then I will put it to storing and we will load up and we will sell it ourselves. Now sugar, come all the way down here. Sugar's got two sell points. It's got the bakery and a farm shop. Right now, bakery's looking a little bit better. But at the time of selling, if it's a little bit more, a little bit less, we'll go ahead and take a look. So I'm gonna get on my testing and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Testing for selling at the factories is done. Now to sell by train. So I got 8,000 sugar beet in here test that and then I gotta do the sugar cane I already sold the sugar beet cut at the biogas plant that was the best price at the time so let's go ahead and get this tested all right moving our first batch up to the sell point now this was made with the sugar beet so that is empty right now sugar beets empty we had three liters extra left over so at the moment price ain't bad uh, let's see if I can do this while driving. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take this turn. All right, so sugar is about five or 9.58, so not bad. Uh, it's going down at the moment, but that's the highest price we have. I'm not waiting on any other pricing, so it, we're just gonna go with whatever's on the map at the time. So it made four, four pallets and three liters extra, so not too bad, not too bad at all. Now this cell point, I'm going to guess it's in the way back because this area right here is made just for grains and stuff like that. So I don't think, yeah, sugar is not accepted here, expected. But down here it is.
All right, that's all sold. Let's move on to the next one. All right, testing complete. So we got all the sugar here. I just did it again just to show you guys. You can't lift this up. So I use this guy. Same thing I've used on other ones. This guy is amazing. Comes under front loaders. It's the bale handler, bale, yeah, bale handler. Great for pallets. Works on all of them that I've tested so far, so pretty safe. Right now we're storing 805 liters because that is sugar beet cut. Now, sugar beets and sugar cane are pretty much even throughout this entire thing. The only difference was sugar beet cut, which is a little different. So for sugar beets, selling it as just regular selling, I made $3,352. Good price, not bad. Now, for selling it with the train, same amount, 8,000 8, liters, I only made $1,586. So I basically doubled my money, a little over doubled my money by selling it in here, just by clicking on sell. Now, for delivering it myself, doing this loading it onto a trailer and driving it over not looking for the best price but I made three thousand eight hundred and thirty three dollars so about uh, five hundred dollars more than selling it in the factory itself not bad a little extra on the side you know they took a little bit for production now because sugar beets you get so much of them like the yields are just crazy so if you do a contract say for sugar beets i mean do i have one right now potatoes another thing you can it's the same as potatoes really you get so much yield that usually from those jobs you keep a lot of it i've had jobs where i've kept almost two hundred thousand liters of sugar beet or potatoes so really you could make a lot of money in here just by doing contract work. Now, the sugar mill itself, if you go down to factories, sugar mill, 80 grand. So it'll cost you 80,000 to start off. Now, if you have a good harvest, you're going to make a lot of money off of that. So, sugar, I'm going to do actually sugar be cut last so moving on to sugar cane go down here these both are two for one you know two to one every two sugar cane you get one sugar nothing crazy there for selling it here as is i made three thousand three hundred and fifty five three dollars more than sugar beet three dollars so pretty much even for the train, I made $2,080. So it sold for $500 more from the train. That could have been just a fluctuation in pricing, but pretty much, yeah, I made a little bit more by selling it in the train. But selling it in the factory, I made more than that. I made about $1,300 more. Selling it at the sell station after just delivering the pallets, I made $3,833. Exactly the same as the sugar beet. So between sugar beet and sugar cane, you're going to get the same price. Depending on which one you want to do, you're going to make the same amount of price. Either way, profit wise, exactly the same. So those two, still not bad. If, you're, if you have a lot of sugar beet or sugar cane, you get a lot off that field anyways. You're going to make a lot of money no matter what. Now let's go to cut sugar beet. We had, for selling in the factory, we made $4,050. More than anything else. $4,050. Not bad. I mean, for just having to cut it, you make more money? All right, fine. Easy. For selling it at the train, or I'm sorry, for cut sugar beet, we had to sell at the biogas plant. There's no train option. So if we go down to cut sugar beets, uh, I think that's actually above. Yeah, cut sugar beets. 
we can sell at the livestock market, the sugar mill, or the biogas plant. So we sold the biogas plant. That was the best money at the moment. We made $1,974. Now that's not saying I, I own the biogas plant. That's just selling it to the biogas plant. We don't get any digest date, anything. All this is just starting out. I know I've gotten a lot of comments of, but if you own this, you're going to make more money. I understand that. But this is just starting out what makes you money by itself. So that made us almost two grand just by selling it at the biogas plant. Pretty good. Now, selling it ourselves, we made $3,853. So pretty much the same as selling it at the other locations and made $20 more selling it in pallets sugar cane or sugar beet cut sell for 20 bucks more than sugar cane and regular sugar beets i actually made more money off selling from sugar beet cut at the factory than i did at the actual sugar beet actually delivering all this we still have 805 liters sitting in here that we can't sell until we roll that over to a thousand so that would almost make another pallet so after that pallet, we'd probably be over the 4,000 mark that we did for selling it inside the sh sugar cane. So if you're going to sell in the sugar mill, the best price you're going to get is, is cut sugar beet. Yeah, it, it's going to cost you to get a, a, cut, a cutter for sugar beet. Now, the only cutter we have in-game at the moment, if you go to front loader tools, go all the way to the end, it's this Ruby 2000. Now... At the top, it says this tool can be used to cut sugar beets to feed to the biogas plant. But what you can do is cut them in a trailer and then just bring them over here. So until we get a, a bigger size, I don't think a wheel loader has the option. Let me double check that real quick. Wheel loader tools. Is there a cutter for a wheel loader tool? No. What about a telehandler? No, there is not. So cutting sugar beet is only done by front loaders. So you need a front loader. You need to cut it and unload it into your silo. Now, if you have a multi-grain silo, you could possibly just load up your bucket, cut it, empty it into your silo, and just keep repeating that process without even having to move to cut all your sugar beet down. Then you can come here and sell it. So overall, the sugar mill will give you the best price for cut sugar beet. Not sugar cane, not sugar beet itself. Cut sugar beet gives you the best price overall. But I think it's actually worth it. I mean, you're getting double the price for most of your things. I mean, for cut sugar beet, you're getting three or two grand over. If you're doing sh sugar beet, you're making 1500 over. And if you're making doing sugar cane, you're making 1300 over. And that's just selling it in here. So really, you're making good profit. It's worth it over time, especially on how sugar beet yields. You're going to make a crazy amount of money off of one harvest in this thing. Two grand over what you would just normally get for sugar cane or sugar beet is great. That's awesome. That's double the profit of what you would normally get. So if you made, you know, 30,000, now you're making 60,000. If you, you would have made, I don't know, say 100,000, now you've got 200,000. It will go up drastically. So is a sugar mill really worth it? Yeah, I think it is. It's pretty good. Pretty simple. It runs pretty quickly. I was worried about the, uh, the running of the sugar beet cut because it is a slower process, but because it's cutting more at a time, it actually runs about the same thing. They took about nine hours to cut 8,000 liters, but it really wasn't that bad. It, it cut pretty quick compared to the, uh, what was it? The olive oil we made last time that took 24 hours. So nine hours, definitely worth it, but that's going to do it for me. So if you found something useful, give it a like, if not, give it a dislike, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.